Good day guys, my name is Prince and welcome to my channel. So you have seen the title, you know what this video is about. So guys, before we start, I just want to say thank you so much for the support for my first video sa mga nagtatanong ho na mga kaibigan ko at kamag-anak. Hindi ho ako birthday clown for hire, okay? Mababa po ang pasensya ko sa mga bata. So baka mahampas ko po ang mga anak nyo ng di ora. Pero kung si Mr. naman ang pagsiselbisyohan, baka mapag-usapan po natin yun. Anyway guys, so um, if you are wondering, um, this is not a normal or a regular everyday makeup video. As you can see in the title, um, we are going to talk about some personal stuff. So I made this video um, for the present and the future audience lang ng channel ko. Just to know na like if like I said, if you if you check my about page or my bio here on YouTube, I mentioned that uh, makeup art and self-expression is my passion. I just want to make content na hindi lang for content sake, yung para may mailabas lang dyan. I actually want to make content that has a heart. Wow, diba? Theo Bird's back is shaking. Shut up. I actually want people to realize that they're watching this channel because they can connect or they can relate. Anyway, so I made this video just to spread positivity towards our body and towards our face and towards makeup then. So I just want all good vibes, guys. So without further ado, guys, let's just get in with the video. Okay guys, so we are Medyo fresh Kasi uh, kakagaling ko lang sa CR Nagilamos ako Because I just woke up So medyo bangag pa ako ng konti And so let's begin So before anything pala guys If you want to see more of this You can go ahead and follow me on my social media Wait, dito ba yun? Ay dito Dito Okay. Um, if you want to see more of this, you can go ahead and follow me on my social media accounts right here. I am Hate Squints on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Let's begin. The um, first part of my daily makeup routine is um, lip balm. Because I'm wearing very matte lipsticks. So, I so guys, I use the classic lang na Nivea Cherry Shine. Um, these actually come in different colors and flavors. Um, I act Before I do any step guys before I do my base I actually put on my eyebrows agad now I don't really do sharp or defined eyebrows kasi okay na ako sa brows ko so dinadarkenan ko lang tong part na to if you're wondering uh, why this video why don't I just make a normal everyday makeup video well guys kasi um, if you have read the bio or the about page of my youtube channel it actually says there na art makeup and self expression is my passion which is true that's why um, in this video, so I just think that it's very fitting to talk about these types of issues. Because I want to address the issues regarding both beauty and insecurities. Because in many situations, the two of those. Um, before anything, guys, fun fact: yung mga kapit bahay ko, malayo sila ha? Like yung bahay nila nandun. Pero rinig na rinig ko sila. So I don't know why their voice is so projected kung pamilya ba sila ng mga actor sa teatro. Kasi guys, kung na-discover ko sila ng mas maaga, sinali ko sila sa theater or na pinapatak mo. Kasi nakakaloka guys. Like, alam ko na yung buong buhay nila minsan. Anyway guys, leche. So like I said guys, um, katulad nyo nung nakalagay dun sa bio ko, uh, art makeup and self-expression is my passion. So, I think na in the beauty community or just in a small community such as Kanaira Tayo, we're 100 plus um, subscribers going strong. So, kahit maliit yung gato community, guys, um, I just want to be an example na it's really important to address issues regarding insecurities in beauty at the same time. <laughs> Daig pa niling mga ibon at aso. Nakakaloka. O, alam na natin hindi kumain yung kinakausap mo. Kailangan alam yung buong village. Congrats! Baka silang masaya. Bless you. Ako naman yun. Anyway guys, as I was saying, um, the reason why hindi lang siya regular na makeup video. Kasi I want to make content that actually supports body positivity. When, um, regardless kung face man yan, kung skin color, or your weight. I want to be... I want to be an example na it's okay to be like that and people don't have to say anything bad about it. So before anything guys, I moisturize my face and on a normal beauty routine ko, pa magpa-party or lalabas with friends, I actually use 
moisturizer na moisturizer para heavy duty. Pero dahil itong everyday makeup naman na to is like, kung pupunta lang ako school or pupunta ako ng mall with family, I just use the um, Antlutz Lux Organics Beauty Mist. Kasi magandang pang prep at pang set ng makeup tong product na to. Before anything guys, I'm making my base. So yung base ko nilalagay ko sa clear pan, sa glass pan. And I use two types of foundation which is yung Maybelline Super Stay in the shade Pure be uh, Natural Beige and the Ordinary Serum Foundation in 2.1P. So pinagmimix ko siya. So before I do my foundation guys, uh, naglalagay ako na Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. So when it comes to pore filling primers, makikita mo lang yung effects niya pag naglapat ka na ng foundation or kung ano man base mo, bibuking man yan or foundation but sa mga good tier pore erasers talaga makikita mo ni effects niya kahit wala pa yung foundation when applying foundation ninang ko yun ay ninang um, so when applying foundation guys, I just use my fingers kasi your fingers are the best blending tools wow Anyway, guys, as I, as I was saying, um, in the in the world of makeup, kasi, well, at wow, in the world of makeup, big time, kasi. Um, I grew up with a lot of stigma when it comes to makeup and beauty, kasi. And the reason why I'm addressing this, kasi, kung sino man yung mga interested bag makeup jan, I don't want them to live in the same world and to hear the same words na naririnig ko nung tumatanda ako. So one of them actually that I keep on hearing about is yung mga nagme-makeup. Ay, yung mga nagme-makeup is for mga insecure lang, mga nahihiya sa sarili nilang balat, o mga ganun. And the thing is kasi guys, hindi lahat na nagme-makeup, ganun yung nararamdaman. And if ganun man yung nararamdaman nila, so what? If insecure sila at nagme-makeup sila, let them be. Kasi the problem with people nowadays is that may easy judgment agad once na alam nilang yung tao na yun, maraming acne or may problema sa self-image niya, parang automatically pangit na agad yung tingin nila. Now guys, if you're wondering na baka light masyado yung foundation ko, medyo napapaputi ako nung ilaw. Anyway, so if you follow um, a big time beauty influencer na Filipino, which is Patrick Scar, yung influencer ha, hindi yung Starfish, um, he's coming up with this new makeup brand. And yung name ng makeup brand niya is um, One Size Beauty. And parang yung tagline niya, makeup is a one size fits all, which is very inspiring, lalo na sa mga magsa-start pa lang sa makeup. It's a very good image to see. Kasi nga, tama naman talaga guys, um, walang pinipiling gumagamit ang makeup. Hindi lang mga artista ang pwedeng gumamit, hindi lang mga maaganda. So parang it doesn't matter who you are, if you want to wear makeup, go ahead. Before I started um, learning about makeup, um, I was actually very, as in very insecure about my acne, my weight, as my teeth, kasi nga sungpi ako. Before, like when I was in high school, like I sneak up sa parents ko na magbimili ka ako or I'm gonna put foundation on paglalabas ako. Kasi nga talagang nihiya talaga ako sa acne ko doon. And sometime after high school, uh, uh, I dated this guy. His name is Connor. He's from the US. And funny story kung paano kami nag-meet, but I'll tell you that on a different video. Ang sabi niya sa akin actually is bakit ko kailangan maging insecure sa acne ko when it's something that comes natural. And when he said that, actually yung sinabi niya parang hindi big deal kasi sobrang um, it didn't matter to him kahit marami yung acne nun. Kasi yun yung, insecure, yun yung insecurity ko. So um, parang naisip ko na how does this guy like me if I have so much acne? And when he said that, he said that na parang normal conversation lang. He wasn't trying to convince me into anything. So parang that made me realize na tama nga naman. Acne is normal and you shouldn't be insecure about it. Kaya compared to my makeup dati guys, so high school ako, gusto ko talaga full coverage na matte na di mo nakikita. But now, as you can see guys, you can still see my acne through. I don't mind it at all. Dahil dun sa sinabi niya na sobrang simple. Napaisip ako na tama nga naman. Bakit ka may insecure sa acne mo? Eh normal lang naman yan. You should be proud na gumagana yung skin cells mo at nagre-respond sila sa dumi. I think what I want to address more sa video na to is the things 
that we should do para hindi na maramdaman ng ibang tao or para hindi na kailangan may insecure na ibang tao sa mga insecurities nila. Um, now, I'm going to set my face with the Vice Cosmetics Duo Finish Foundation in Kinesa. Actually, guys, this is like the best powder na nahanap ko. Tapos, natutulungan niya din hindi humulas yung makeup. Anyway, now let's go down to the question na what actually made me insecure. Actually, when I started to have acne nung bata ako, hindi ako actually nag-panic. Kasi, even then, I know na mangyayari yun and normal yun. But, um, when I started to have acne, people around me, sila actually, parang sila yung nag-culture ng insecurity ko. Sila yung nagbaon sa utak ko. And so, I started developing my insecurity on my acne when people started to say na pangit yan, na madumi ka, and parang di mo ba inaalagaan yung mukha mo. And, well, I get that. Na kasi syempre, um, syempre, uh, teenage years mo, nagbibinata pa ako, no? Bibinata? Pumipiyok hanggang ngayon, nagbibinata pa din ako. So, syempre, nagbibinata ako noon. And, syempre, I was just trying to know kung how does being a teenager works. Parang literal na bago ka pa lang dun. Parang yesterday, bata ka pa lang. And then now you have acne, you have hairs in places that you don't even know that they grow on. Siyempre, as a clueless kid, makikinig ka lang sa sinasabi ng mga nakakatanda sa'yo. And when they're saying na parang akaya ka nagkaka-acne kasi hindi ka dahil madumi ka sa mukha mo, dahil kung saan-saan ka pumupunta, dahil hindi ka naghihilamas masyado. When, in fact, that's not the only factor kasi siyempre, nagbibinata ka yung hormones mo yung malaking factor dun. But I didn't know that before. So yun talaga yung bring down sa akin for the most part. Guys, so next step would be contour. I'm using the Vice Cosmetics Contour in the shade Confirm. Now guys, let me just make a comment on this brand. Lahat ng powder products nila maganda. Mura siya, pero yung quality niya hindi cheap. A lot of people want to contour their whole face. And that's fine. Depende sa'yo. So pinapaabot ko siya dito guys. So if nakita nyo, parang may pampapayat effect siya. Pampasharp effect siya. Anyway, going back to the story, guys. Um, what I just want to remind everyone who's watching, especially when you're a parent or nakakatanda kayo and then you know someone who's going through this insecurity, is that you don't have to point it out as a negative thing. So, the thing with Filipino culture kasi that's toxic is when you want the young people to learn. Siyempre, pagsasabihan mo. But when you want to teach them something, you don't have to degrade them or say hurtful words in the process. Kasi, so it's all about um, the way you teach young people. Now guys, the next thing I do is um, I can't leave my house without doing this. And it's contouring my nose. So I'm going to use the BYS Contour Trio. And I use yung contour shade dito. This is so weird, guys. Every time nasa harap ako ng camera, madaling nagiging sensitive yung ilong ko sa makeup bigla. But in in the real world, hindi siya ganito. Bigla nangangati na lang siya pag nasa harap ako ng camera. Hindi ka po yung ilaw yun. Or nahihiya yung ilong. Kung may hiya ka lang, huwag kang sumama next time. Charot, charot lang. So basically, simula dito. Tapos, ito yung dito. Gusto ko yung medyo soft siya tignan. But um, when it comes to acting on stage, mas harsh yung colors na ginagamit ko. Kasi pag nailawan ka on stage, guys, magsusoften yung contour mo. So, oh my god, comment down below if gusto nyo ng, ano, stage makeup tutorial. Now, the next, I, the, the next thing I do is I highlight my face, but not with a shimmer highlighter, pero uh, a very matte light shade lang. So, yun nga, guys. After ko na-meet yung guy, after na-meet yung guy na nagsabi sa akin na natural lang yun, hindi mo dapat insecure, um, question is, am I still insecure about it ever since that day? Um, yes, but it doesn't bother me as much as it did before. Kaya guys, if you know someone who's bothered with their insecurities, it's your job to make them feel like, No, that's true. You might be imperfect, uh, you might be imperfect in that way, pero you have to know that it's actually normal. So, whenever I talk to my friends about those kinds of things, actually, lagi ko silang nire-remind na, Gets, gets naman na insecure ka dyan kasi syempre, um, people are some people are very conscious with their own, ano, with their own body but if you want advice from me I'm telling you na, now if people are trying to bring you down with your insecurities alam mo yun, don't join the ride, if people are already teasing you and saying hurtful words dahil sa mga imperfections mo, wag ka na makiisa sa kanila next guys, we have blush so, ride or die um, blush product is yung Happy Skin na Queen. Like, oh my god. Ang daming laman nito, guys. Pang limang taon ko na tong blush na to. It's 
anyway guys so um word of advice how did i actually how did i recovered from those insecurities ang first kong ginawa guys is i started motivating myself and mara- malaki yung role ng makeup doon kasi uh in times na insecure ako sa itsura ko like let's say i know na pupunta ako ng event and para i need to be more presentable than ano the normal then uh use makeup if you want to change your face if you want to put in more dimension walang mali doon whenever ano guys whenever madami akong blush na na-apply pinapatungan ko lang siya ng powder um the reason why hindi ko siya tinatanggal kasi in case na mahulas yung makeup ko may blush pa din siya. Anyway, now guys, if there are people who are feeding your insecurities, I suggest that you either call them out or you cut off um, or you cut them out of your life. Kasi guys, trust me, once you get rid of people that are toxic sa lives niyo, that are feeding up your insecurities, life is going to be so much better. Like if you stop, now guys, if you can't cut off from the people na ginagawa yun sa inyo, um, it's just a matter of choosing which words you should take into account. Kasi, nun, kasi when I was growing up, guys, there are a lot of people na hindi mo talaga matatanggal sa buhay mo, but they still say hurtful words about things that you might be insecure about. So what I do is that I choose which advice or which words yung that really matter. So it's just which words or which people would you listen to when it comes to your insecurities. Now, if may mga taong nagsasabi sa'yo na ay pangat yan, pangat yung acne, tas parang you should wash your face more, you should go on a diet, then choice muna kung makikinig ka sa kanila or if, you know, you would choose them to affect you. And sometimes na lang, hindi may iwasan na kahit ayaw natin makinig na apektuhan pa din tayo, then ang gawin mo na lang, tell them na, okay, gets ko na. You don't have to keep reminding me, you don't have to keep telling me about my imperfections kasi I'm very aware of them. Tapos if they don't stop, that's when you cut ties with them. And if you can't cut ties with them, then just learn to coexist with them. And start taking their word. Ayun, alam yun, parang don't give them too much credit. Don't believe them if you don't have to. Kasi for me, ang learning to be confident in your own skin starts by believing in yourself. So, yun lang naman talaga yun. Um, if gusto mong if gusto mong mabuhay ng hindi nilalaman ng insecurities mo, you have to believe in yourself even if people are trying to bring you down by saying hurtful words. So, ayun. Anyway, guys, the next I do is sa eyes. Now, for an everyday makeup, I don't really do an eye makeup. I just put a little bit to give dimension to my eyes. Kasi if you look at it, guys, medyo flat siya tingnan. Parang walang ganap masyado. Get this color right here. Yung pang crease. I'm using the, ano, Vice BT21 eyeshadow palette. Sobrang ganda nito, guys. If you love neutral colors, get this one. Then I get the darker shade above it. Dot 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 lang dito. Ayan. Dot dot dot. So after that guys, I get a brush na may tip. Tapos, I dip into that same shade. Which is called... Yosot. Tapos nilalagyan ko lang yung under eye ko ng konti. For mascara, I use the Maybelline Hyper Curl. Okay, for the mascara, nilalagyan ko lang mascara is yung dulo. Ito lang. Anyway guys, so if you're doing makeup and people are telling you yung mga sinabi ko kanina na nagaganyan ka lang dahil insecure ka, you have too much makeup on, you know, just don't listen to them because there's never, there's no such thing as too much makeup on. So, if I were you, just do what makes you happy. If you want to put more blush, uh, more contour, um, if you want to outline your lips, don't let people tell you not. Depend on my life getting that shit from people. And the more I listen to them, you know, the less I feel confident about myself. So okay, guys, for the last product, this is the product that I usually use on the daily. But I don't want to support the brand right now. As long as hindi pa ina-address ng owner yung mga issues niya. So I'm just gonna show you guys. Kilala nyo na yan. This is in the shade Androgyny. This is my everyday shade. So, I hate not supporting this brand. Pero... So, I hate... No comment na lang, No hate sa brand, ah. Pero maganda talaga yung formula nila, guys. So, naninibago ako. Saan tagal ko nang di ginagamit tong product na to. Anyway, so last thing I do is highlight. And, like I said, if 
Kais Cosmetics, anything na powder product nila maganda talaga. So, this is in the shade Splendid. Ang boring yung mukha pag walang highlight. Yeah. Just spray up all again with the Beauty Mist ng Lux Organic. So, this is my everyday makeup look. So, it's not really flashy. It's just an everyday look. Tapos, konting detail lang tayo. And I hope you guys learned a thing or two about my makeup routine. I also talked about personal stuff with you guys and I hope na may natutunan din kayo doon. And before anyone says anything that would bother you, let me just say that if you're watching this right now, believe in yourself. Kasi if everyone else is saying bad stuff about you, it's your job to make yourself feel better when no one else is. Okay? If people are telling you that you have acne or that your skin tone is like this or that this is how bad your body looks, don't let them affect you because you are beautiful with or without makeup on. And if you use makeup to make yourself more beautiful, and it doesn't matter guys, makeup is for everyone, okay? It's our job to make everyone else feel loved and feel comfortable in their own skin. So if you were to give advice or if you want to talk to someone about their personal image, do so with caution and sensitivity guys, okay? You don't have to torture them or degrade them in the process, okay? I just want to keep on saying that to everyone, okay? So acne, um, body weight, anything that's happening to your body, that's normal, okay? So you don't have to be insecure with things that happen normally, okay? So if you're gaining weight because you're eating or you're getting acne because you're in puberty, don't be scared. That's normal and you'll go through it, okay? Hindi ka pangit dahil may acne ka, hindi ka pangat dahil mataba ka, okay? I just want to make that clear. And for the people watching this that are telling people na ganun na nga, bitch, I'm coming for you. Char! So guys, please, let's just be, let's just learn to be kind to everyone. Kasi right now, lalo na sa panahon na to, it's the time to uplift everyone around us, okay? Stop bringing everyone else down. Stop with the hate comments or body shaming. Please, let's just Learn to be nice to everyone, okay? So if you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this. Um, I upload weekly, so I hope you guys stick around. So um, always remember that someone's going to appreciate how you look and you don't have to be insecure about it, okay? Bye, guys!